Oh yeah, that's a bit. That's another butterball. That's another butterball. Had another. He's got another one with it. Got another one with it. Kendrick, oh, Kendrick, Kendrick get in there. Oh, oh my man. gosh. Kendrick, what are you doing? Here, what are you doing? I, I can't. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. A little update for you guys. Rob, who was sitting in the tree, many, many hundreds of yards away. He came in a little later and he got a nice buck. And it's time to do some cleanup. With the YouTube situation right now, I am not going to show you guys uh, the full extent. We're just going to breeze through that and then we've still got a lot of, a lot of time left in the day. So Matt's going to clean his first deer right now and then uh, we're going to move on and just enjoy the great outdoors here. touching the ground. Just a huge body deer, probably about 200 pounds of field dress. And uh, here's mine right here. There's Matt's. There's me and Matt's together right there. About the same size deer, but just really nice. We were done with gutting and cleaning the deer and all that, so if you guys watch my recent videos where I went hunting, I got a doe, I ate it almost immediately, and uh, some of the best parts of the meat, they were not very tender. They were actually kind of chewy. The meat was good, like good flavor, but it was just kind of chewy. I want to try a process of aging that meat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in about five or six days, and I'm going to take that meat. Uh, to the processor after that. I'll probably take home the back straps and the loins like I did last time and just compare. I want to do that comparison video and really see what the difference is. Amazing morning of hunting and it was so awesome when Rob came in. Everybody got a buck. It was just so cool. So we ended up with five really nice bucks and I wanted to show you all my rifle because this is a special story too. There was so much going on in the last video. <laughs> so much action that I didn't really get into it, but this is actually my grandfather's rifle. Uh, when he died, um, this was given to me. This is a Remington 30-06. It's a Woodmaster Model 742. It's not super old. I want to say it's from the 70s. This is a big bullet right here. Y'all, this thing kicks like a daggum mule. These are 180 grain bullets right here. When I was able to take this gun out and shoot it for the first time when I was hunting, it was it was really neat. It was neat for my dad because it was passed down from his dad. You now, I haven't gone and, and gotten a nice bolt action rifle yet. That's like one gun that I haven't done and I, I definitely want to do that soon, but I thought it would be neat before I do that to take this rifle out at least one time and uh, and go hunting with it and you know what this will probably be passed down uh, to Emmy or um, another one of our children if we if we have more children which we probably will the only problem is this thing is not very accurate we were actually shooting it last night sat on the bench 100 yards no problem you get to 150 no problem 200 yards we couldn't even hit the target. This is not just me shooting the gun. This is multiple people that are ex-military, have a lot of experience. It, it gets a little squirrely past that, but today didn't have a problem. And the crazy thing about this place is uh, the deer hunting is so amazing. And the, the duck hunting here, which I'm not a big duck hunter, but they say the duck hunting is unreal as well. But I know from personal experience, the fishing, which I did the day before, but the season opened out here. It's insane too. Like the, the fishing on this place is awesome. And I have my boat here, so we may put that in the water and just give it a little dangle. Let's see what we can come up with. My boots shrank in the middle of the night I think, with the cold. They got wet and cold. I think leather does that. 
He brought out the slow, baby! Old Angle Sash. Today we're joined by Rob from the Lunkers TV channel. Here to give it a little panfish dangle. And we've also got manager Matt out here. Coming, coming fresh off his first white tail deer experience. Documented right here on the channel. It's pretty awesome. This place is paradise, y'all. I can't explain to you the, the ma majestic nature of what's going on here. Crappie Lake, bass lakes, duck hunting sloughs, uh, squirrel runs, uh, coyote ridges, hog bogs, white tail whisker biscuits. It's all here. Right here, we're looking at a clear picture of the surface of the moon. Craters everywhere. It's actually bluegill, y'all. Bluegill in the springtime, they make these these beds. So a lot of bluegill in here. Oh, there's there's a couple of fish right there. Dangle opportunities right there. You can see their shadows right there in the middle. What? <laughs> You're so goofy. What, dude? <laughs> I just, just you got the same boat. You're about to see. I know. The... I, I just like watching you. Like watching you do things is just amazing. Well, I thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Look that little crappie jig in there. I see you. I see you. That oh. Thing. Oh. Heard one in oh. there. Oh. How is he? Almost past the boot. Oh, there's a dead snake. Where? I'll just, you know, right there at the ramp. Okay, it's good. They were, we got two bites. They didn't eat it, eat it, even eat it. See schools of them out there. Can't get them to bite. Why? I don't know, man. Just, yeah. just do that little. Got our counterpart, John B, out there. We got, we got a half a squad right now. We switched from the crappie lake, y'all. We had two bites, no fish. The landowner actually asked us to come over to this lake and take a lot of the small fish out because it hasn't been managed in years. There's some really nice fish in here, but there's a ton of little donkers. When you have that situation, you have to take a lot of them out in order to get those bigger fish to grow up into those like seven, eight, nine double digits that you really want. Because the, the food, they're all fighting over the same food. So there's literally thousands of 10, 12, 14 inches in here. And he told us to basically take out anything around 12, anything under 14, just uh, stick it in the box. I actually like to eat bass. I don't know about y'all. Um, they're pretty good, especially spotted bass. I know some people are a little touchy on it, but Loggers TV hooked up right now? No, I've got grass. Okay, you got grass. but I've got a lot of grass. Anyway, we're going to catch some, then we're clear to go home. We're, this is a straight up meat haul trip, y'all. We've got venison for days, fillets, venison and fillets. That should be the title of this video. Meat haul. Just keep it open. Just keep it open. Fish. Yeah, he's skinny. He's a skinny meat haul one. Um, trying not to step on Kendrick when we're doing this. Oh, hang on. Oh, you got one? I got it. We doubled. We doubled on meat haulers. Uh, meat haul. Oh, yeah, this is a definite meat hauler here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh. See how skinny these fish are, guys? They're, um, they're small and they're skinny, which means they're all fighting over this food source and they're never going to bump up to the size class. You end up with fish, fish like this that have big heads and skinny bodies. Kendrick. Can I get them flies, please? Alright, nice job, Rob. Thank you. I'm throwing a, uh, a mini recon. Rob's throwing a clutch, I think. Manager Matt. Learning how to tie knots over there. <laughs> we are double. Oh, cooler. Is that a cooler oh, bag? yeah. Mine hasn't showed itself yet. We've got another oh, skinny one here. Oh, look at that. He's got a second wind. Oh, is he going to hit the beat box? There we go. Oh, oh, come on back and get you some. What are you throwing? Oh, little mini recon. There he is. Come on back and got it. May not be a keeper though. This might be a decent one. Yeah. He's staying in here. Skinny, but he's he's already reached past the growth mark. That's a good fish. Look at those red lips in the cold here. Oh, he's been caught before. Up. He's been caught before. We are hooked up and he is far away. We are really, we're on him here. A little pork chop. A little crappie. What do we got? 
Oh. Clearly not a crappie. I know. That's a good dark bass. That's a good dark bass. I know, baby. It's cold. You don't want to. This one's not hitting the box. Oh, my. Just got absolutely slobber knocked by a boxer. Did you? Oh, yeah. I could feel I could feel the smallness as soon as he did you know how it. How big he is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. Oh, okay. Actually, I think that one's going to. I think this one might throw back, that actually. actually. Kendrick's got one for the box. Is this the box one? Nah, yeah. Okay, yeah, throw it. <laughs> okay, we caught three that aren't gonna make it. Yeah, these these are all over 14 that we just uh, got into. Oh man, just getting waxed on right here. Waxed on. Oh, that's another non boxer, I believe. Man, there's just. Dude, Toby, this is good. We're coming out here to do a meat haul and we're actually catching the fish that you need to Yep. Oh. These are these are all over the size class here, y'all. This is another this is like 16 incher here. So what we're all three doing right now is throwing uh, crawfish imitating baits. A little black back, red, yellow belly, and and gold, a little bit of gold sparkle on the sides. And I'm digging that into the grass, let it hit the grass and float up. And when it floats up, they grab it. It's a similar technique as the, the lipless. Oh, 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 I just lost one there. Oh, I got another one chasing it. He ate it right by the boat. Oh, that guy. That was cool. I got another one chasing it. Paused it. Oh, yeah, these are, these are two uh, throwbackers. Right here. Dude, I saw that fish come back. I paused it and he came back again and got it. Rob, Rob got a big fish. He got a nice fish. They like that red, dude. As soon as we switched over, yeah, it's not that's about the shad. Right See, this is that's one that's gonna be an eight pound one day. Throw him back, too. All right, well, we, we came out here to catch the little ones, but we got to watch him come up and eat it. Yeah, he, he was like next to your fish. I think he got a little competitive. He was like, I, I got to get that thing. Boom! Oh, we got ourselves a non-boxer here, boys. That's about a fiver. Ooh. Look at that. Butterball. Oh, butterball. Wow, we're on some good in <laughs> This is that. not what we came here to do, but it is sure is fun. This is awesome. That is a big old buttered biscuit right there, y'all. My gosh. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that little recon in his look mouth. That is a butterball <laughs> turkey. Oh my gosh, my God. I just want y'all to look at the at the girth. The girthiness of that fish is just absurd. Eat that little red mini recon. Ooh! We're not gonna take this one home for a turkey dinner. I promise. This is this is a, uh, a really nice healthy fish that has the potential to be a double digit someday. So this is one of the ones that when we clear these little si lower size class fish out and this one has more food, it's going to be a juicy here in a year or two. So we'll let this one go. Over five pounds, I think, but just girthy in the middle. Oh, oh, my God. oh what? Did he eat it off the top, Rob? Look at that begging. Get a little revival. It's cold water. That's a good one. Yep. That's it. That's a good one. Not a boxer. That is not a boxer. That is not there she goes. You! Wait, this is not a boxer. <laughs> and you got a big one too? I got a big one right now. 100% big one. Oh, yeah. That's, a big, that's another butterball. That's another butterball. Another, he's got another one with it. Got another one with it. Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick, get in there. Oh, oh my gosh. Kendrick, what are you doing? Here, what are you doing? I got Kendrick. You got a backlash. Oh my God, this, is a this is terrible. This is a big one. Wow. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another one with it. Kendrick. I know. Okay, I'm doing? coming. Look at that. It was, another, it was like a four or five pounder with another it. Another one with him. Holy moly. Holy. Oh this, this could be. This is the mono. This. <laughs> it was a hard hit. It's not a big one. It was a really strong attack, though, by the red lipped. Greenback himself. I'm gonna share a tip with y'all right now. When you see the red lip sticky lips like that, that is some straight up Maybelline. You go, you go get you a red something. 
a red crankbait, a red lipless crankbait, or a red lip, it doesn't matter, make it red, and you start and stop that thing, and you wait for those red lips to wrap around that red crankbait. That's all you gotta do. Just another unreal experience catching big bass out here. I mean, we tried to go for crappie, didn't work out, but big bucks, big bass, this has been one of the best outdoor weekends I've ever experienced, bar none, just overall, across the board. You know, I, just very special. I'm gonna write this day down on the calendar because I don't think it's gonna happen like it did for a long, long time. I can try, but everything was just perfect. We got some bass in here. I think we ended up with eight. They're around 12 inches. Some are like 10, 10 to 12 inches, basically. I'm gonna fillet those up right now, put them in uh, freeze lock bags, and then we'll make some golden crispies out of them later. I mean, we even got more meat. It's been an absolute meat haul, incredible. Backwater, are you coming off a hot dangle right now? Oh yeah. Did you get them? No, I'm about to go out. Oh, you're about to go out for a little evening. Gotcha. About to go out. Mind if I squeeze my new silver bullet next to you oh, here? Oh, the new one. And there's my little helper. Hey, sweet pea. Hey. She's helping me collect all these acorns. Well, I have come back from the harvest and it has been a good one. Mm. Just in time for the Thanksgiving. Good, because I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I brought you some delicious bass. Oh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you don't have to eat them right now. Well, y'all, it is time to unload and just spend some quality time with the family after a great harvest. I mean, that's part of it. You go out there, you get all this great meat, these great experiences, and then uh, you spend it with your friends and family. So that is what we are going to do. And just go ahead and smash the like button for outdoor greatness. Big bucks, big bass, just great times. And if you want to see more from me and the family here at the Treehouse, I'll link the Lake Life Family channel down below so you don't miss anything over there. And y'all, I'm signing off for one of the greatest outdoor weekends ever. And I hope you're having a great one as well. God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.